welcome to Q&A with Mickey and Jay. Tonight, we are in support of Inside View with Billy Morrison of Billy Idol and illustrator and artist Joey Feldman to benefit the Rock Against MS Foundation. Woo! <laughs> we are with... Renee Props. And David Rodriguez. It's nice to meet you today. You too. You guys are adorable. Thank you. You're our future. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys look lovely tonight too, Thank by you. the way. What brings you here today? My niece, Erin Baker, has MS, and she's a young mother of three, and that's what brought us out this evening. Aww. We're here yeah. for Erin. So. Aww. Well, what projects have you been working on recently? Um, we have a film coming out that David Rodriguez directed and um, wrote, and it's called Once Upon a Time in Queens, and cool. I have a lead female, female role in it, and it's, go ahead, you can pick it up and it's, me. And it, uh, she stars opposite Paul Servino and Michael Rappaport, and uh, comes out on uh, November 11th, so we're pretty excited about it. Could you give us a quick synopsis? Mm -hmm. Sure. It's, it's a post-mob movie about a guy who comes home from prison after 20 years and he's trying to figure out his way in a more much more progressive society than what he left so he's got a few surprises along the way and it's um it's just a fun sort of uh, New York slice of life well, that sounds like a great movie yeah Thank you gotta see you. it it yeah, doesn't have, like it it, it, like it doesn't it. have a lot of F words in it so you should yeah. Yeah. that works yeah. Yeah. it would yeah. work it would yeah. work yeah. and my right. character is very interesting not what you think I would be so I yeah. have to keep the mystery for you yeah. Ooh. I used to float when he walked. It's a piece of steel, this guy. Powerful guy like that. He was like a god. I know. He was the man. You know they knocked down Shea, right? Shea stayed here. Stay, stay. Here's the status of your three closest associates. Santo Campione and Richard Diamato testified against you and many other people that you know. Here is a list of every known member in organized crime that you cannot talk to, meet, associate with, come in contact with, in any shape, way, or form. <laughs> Hello, boys. Hey, this is Joe. Joe. Mr. Joe, how are you? How's your neighbor? Very nice person. Very nice family. I hear he takes great pride in looking after you. That's what we do. It's just a Sydney thing. It's okay that I offer to uh, take him places and run errands for him, right? Yeah, why? I mean, it's not like you're offering to do anything illegal. Bobby, I gotta ask you a favor. All right, what is it? I gotta reach out to some old friends of mine who know what I'm talking about. What's the deal, man? What's That's up? Been looking for you earlier. Well, we just noticed that you've been spending a lot of time with them lately, and we wanted to make sure that you understand who you're dealing with. Could you do me a favor, then? Could you let your neighbor know that I send him my absolute best? You have a lot to lose. If I were you, keep my distance. You think because you're running errands for the old man, you could talk to him like yeah, that? Yeah, I think that. You look around this neighborhood, you don't see any drug dealers on the corners. Nobody's getting their house broken into. That's partially because of guys like Mrs. Scaleri. There's a certain amount of respect that they bring to the neighborhood. You, you know I got a guy following me in an unmarked car every now and then? Don't you walk away from me when I'm talking. Don't you disrespect me. You forgot who you're talking to, right? I'm a legend in this neighborhood. I was a boss. I ran neighborhoods. I had men working for me. But you got to give it up. It's over, Joseph. I just did 20 years, 20. I could do another 20 standing on my head. I don't know if we're going to make it out here. All the crack I've been smoking don't show up. Funny. How did you guys get started in the biz? <laughs> um, I started as a writer-director um, about 10 years ago, and I made a few features, and now I'm directing TV, and I'm currently uh, working on an episode of Stalker, so... Um, Stalker, I heard yeah, that. so, yeah. you know, so it's... Very scary. It's just been, you know, kind of making my own way, and and, you know, writing my way into the business. How hard is it for an aspiring director to uh, kind of like get their way into the biz right now? It's, it's hard, I mean, it's not impossible, but it's certainly, uh, I think it's easier. I, um, you know, anybody can grab a camera now and a couple talented actors and make something cutting edge and something different and, and showcase it to the world, you know, via the internet. So it's much easier than, than it was even 10 years ago when I started. It's a brave new world. Technology is in, in your favor, I think. Our viewers would love to know what you guys are going to be for Halloween. 
Oh. I'm going to be work. I actually He's start be... my first day on Stalkers on Halloween. Isn't that so, great? so I'm going to be a director that day. You're going to play <laughs> a director. Yeah. And I'm going to give out candy, and I'll probably be like a good witch, not a bad witch. Ooh. Ooh. Well, like have a great Halloween. Yes. Thank and you. thank you for your interview. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Today oh, we, we have a special, have a special oh, have a little thing. Yeah. yeah. Looks oh little God, skull so cup uh, shot glasses. Rocks. Adorable. <laughs> yeah. Against them us. Thank yeah. You. This you. has been Q and A with Mickey and Shay telling you to rock against MS. Oh. <laughs>